Yo, what's up guys? I'm coming back at you with another video today. Now, we're just gonna jump straight into the video. If you've seen the first weapons tutorial, I won't be covering the weapons that were in that tutorial. I was just using them as filler. There's only a few of them, but if you wanna see how they're built, you can go check out the other video. So we're just gonna get right into the video. So let's get into it, guys. So we're gonna start off with one of my favorite guns. It's like a mounted machine gun. So it's got some pretty simple parts. This is one of the harder pieces to find, which is like a little bucket handle. And then you're gonna attach it to one of these modified plates, which has a clip on it. Next, you'll need one of these modified bricks with the stud on the side. It can be indented. It doesn't really have to be, but it looks better that way. You can use a regular brick if you want with the stud on the side. And then you're going to need one of these newer pieces. It has the little bar attachment. It's like a stud with the bar attachment. And you're just going to put that on the side of there. So there you can see that assembly. We have our bucket handle, our modified plate. And then we have this brick with the stud on the side. And then we have this stud with the modified bar on there. Next, we're going to take this little one-by-one -one plate. And we're just going to stick it on there just to give it a little bit of length. And then we're going to grab this little modified plate with the little two studs on the sides. This one's an older piece, but you can use the newer piece. It really doesn't matter. I was just using that one just to use it up. And then we're going to stick that right there on the front where that one by one plate was. And then we're going to get this little Technic piece. It's like a nozzle. I use these for taps on drink machines. We're just going to stick that inside of that little hole right there. Now we can stick it on this rotating plate and we have a base for that. It's kind of hard to get this little piece inside of this rotating plate, which is kind of annoying. There we go. So now your gun can spin freely. Now we're going to grab this front piece over here. And we're going to attach it to this little Technic piece that you put inside of this one by one rounded brick, like so. And then you'll just take this little clip, it's a modified plate with a clip on it, and you'll stick that on top of there, and that'll give you your sight. And now you can see, now that you have some sight, there we go. We've got our little rotating automatic machine gun. And you can stick that on top of a vehicle or a base. All right, let's get on to the next. So we're going to start with something different. It's a payload. Now this is pretty simple. You just have a Technic piece inside of here. It's actually in there really tight. It's one of the older pieces. So there you go. You just put that on like so. And then you get your little cone piece and you stick that on the front and then you can get this new piece it's a little bit newer and you stick that on the back and you get a payload it's like a bomb that a plane can drop now this one is supposed to be based off of a nerf gun as you can see we have these hero factory minifigure legs and then we have this oh I just slung that across the room. We have this little, um, it's like one by three bar piece. It's like three studs long. And then we have this little minifigure arm or hand piece. And then a Technic piece. So this uses an illegal connection right here. You just connect the two clips like so. It's pretty sturdy. And then you slide in the bar piece and you put that Technic piece around there and you have a Nerf gun. Very nostalgic. Now this one, I actually used a brick arm piece. You'll notice a few brick arm pieces in this tutorial. So we just took a stock of a brick arms gun. I cut it off and then I glued it into this little crossbow piece. I think it looks cool for a little Chewy's like crossbow blaster or for a bounty hunter blaster. I just having fun with that. So if you guys have any brick arms laying around, 
You can modify your original Lego pieces with them. Let's get on to the next one. Over here, we have this blaster. Now, everybody knows how to make one of these with the regular blaster and a Technic piece on the end. I just wanted to show you guys this cool little firing technique. It uses a crystal piece, one of the newer crystal pieces, and then a lightsaber piece. And it makes it look like the gun is firing like in Star Wars The Clone Wars. All right, let's get on to the next one. So this one was in the first video. It's pretty simple. It's just a one by two brick, and then you have a modified clip and a plate. So that makes up the little ammo box, and that just attaches like so. And then on the front here, you have your minifigure nozzle for like firefighters. And then you have one of these Technic like beam attachment pieces for those rods. Holds it in there pretty good, and it looks like it has rails for attachments, so that's why I use that. And then it's just got the regular Stormtrooper or Clone Wars blaster. Alright, on to the next one, guys. We have this weapon here. Now, it's a similar fashion. It's got, like, a clip on the front, which is, like, a bar piece. Kind of looks like a minifigure or robot hand. They use them in Exoforce, so that just attaches to the gun like so. And then you have your little Technic piece that attaches like so. And then you put the little firefighter nozzle in the front. And it just makes a really cool gun for boats. Or if you flip it to the side, it kind of looks like a historical gun. I thought that one looked pretty cool. So let's get on to the next one. Over here, we have this rifle. Now, I used one of these little plunger pieces. They're also like the old firefighter pieces, but they're older than the other one we were using. And then we have a rounded brick right here. Now, as you can see, we have one of these modified bricks. It's got the stud. And then you take this little piece right here. It's another little attachment for the drink machines that I use them on. And then you put a one by one plate on the back to create the stock. Then you get this little modified plate and you throw it up top to make a sight. It makes a really nice sight piece. And then you throw the earlier pieces on from before in the front. And then you just get a little jumper plate and a one by two plate and you stick them on the bottom to make the ammo clip. And that makes that one, it's a pretty simple gun it's not my favorite version. I have a couple iterations that I will be showing off in this video. So like this one, we actually did the same kind of technique. We just shortened the barrel a little bit. And then for the clip, we used Thor's hammer. And that just goes in like so into that modified brick. All right, so that one looks kind of cooler has better shaping to the clip and it's smaller so it looks more to scale to the minifigure and then you have two iron sights over there we have another version right here it actually has that backpack piece for the minifigure that way you can remove the clip and attach a new one and then we threw a green clip on there just to make it look like military because you know their clips are green or their ammo boxes are green and then this one, we left the barrel longer, and we still have the iron sights on there. This one uses the uh, modified plate from before, from the first version. But they're all pretty much built the same. They just have different clips, or different lengths of stocks, or I mean barrels. Now this one is one of my favorites. I'm going to have to break this one down real quick. This one uses a lot of pieces, so as you can see... We've got a tire that you're going to need. You're going to need a few studs. You're going to need this modifi modified plate. Excuse my lingo. You're going to need that modified plate. And then you're also going to need this new Technic piece. It's like a modified plate as well, but it's rounded. And then you'll need a backpack piece from your minifigures. One of these rounded bricks. There you can see that. You're going to need another tire a 
And then over here, you're gonna need two of these little studs that go on the bars so they have the hole in them. And then you'll use this Technic piece. It Basically, you put Technic pins inside of it. And then you're gonna need a yellow one of those as well with the stud inside or with the hole in the stud. So you can connect those like so. And then you're gonna wanna bring this on the back and just run that over like that. So you got there. And then you wanna bring this little minifigure piece and throw it on this rounded brick. That way it holds it in place like so. Now you'll need your handle. That way your minifigure can grip it. And that goes on like so as well. And then you get your sight, that way you can line it up. And then we'll just need some studs to hold the front barrel on, which is another tire. And you just sandwich them in between like so. And there you have a Javelin rocket launcher missile thing. Now some people also put the site down here when it's in storage, I guess. But then it can just rotate up like so. It's a very nice rocket launcher. It's more for modern military. Um, I think it has a cool appearance and it launches some pretty cool missiles. Now that we're on the subject of missiles, we'll talk about this. I call this the Javelin. It really isn't a Javelin missile, but as you can see, it just uses these little rocket pieces. It actually uses two of them and then two of the rounded bricks, or three of the rounded bricks, and then you have a cone piece in the front, and then just two little studs, just to give it some color and the labeling. So that's pretty much how you make that missile. It's pretty simple. Now we have a simplified version over here. It's pretty much the same, has just one of these missing. So what I use these for is what I call a fat boy, if you've ever played Fallout. I made this using some of the U-clips from Brick Arms and some of the little monopods from Brick Arms to make up the handles and the rest for the shoulder. And then over here we have the gauge. If you've ever played Fallout, you know what I'm talking about. And the rocket just goes on here and then it fires like so. Now, I wish I had a spring action, but it's too small and I wanted to keep it minifigure scale just for the sake of continuity. So it's pretty fun to play with. It's just like a little handheld rocket launcher if you ever need to launch a payload or a javelin missile. So you just lay them on there. It also works with these ones. So I'll show you how to build this real quick. It's pretty simple. You just get these two little pieces and then you attach them with the little red Technic pin. And then you get another one and you attach this little light piece with the bar piece on it to the front. And you get that little stud with the circle in it. That way it holds it on there a little bit better. Give it a little bit of length. See, it falls off a lot still. And then you attach that to the back. And there you have another type of rocket. I see these on helicopters a lot. I just think they look really cool. Now, we also have this payload. It's kind of a similar fashion. You just use one of these pieces. And then you have... The little Technic rod that runs through it and just uses some cones and some bar pieces just to hold it together. So it's a pretty simple payload. Thought that was cool. Now we have another Fat Boy launcher over here. Now this one's for larger rockets. As you can see, it just uses robot hands and then uses one of these beams that has the little slanted end on the back. It's a pretty simple build. It's just used for holding bigger payloads like this. If you've ever played Fallout, you know what this is for. Anyways, on to the next one. We got another Fallout style gun. This one uses U-clips as well. What we did was we attached two of the pistols from Johnny Thunder or Indiana Jones, and then we attached a ice skate on the front, and then we have a little uh, binocular piece right here. And then there we have our U-clip holding those little barrels together. 
Now you don't have to have the U-clip. It works perfectly fine without them. I just used it to add stability. But there you have it. It's just a little apocalyptic gun. Gonna move over here a little bit. So this gun right here is actually, I believe, a DC-11 blaster rifle from Star Wars. Now, this was actually a minifigure weapon, or an action figure weapon, and then I took a little bar piece, I cut off the handle, and then I glued on the bar piece. So it makes a really cool blaster look. You can't really see the seam there unless you look hard enough. But I think it looks cool. It looks awesome on walls, and it has tons of detail. That one you're going to need a lighter for. Now, over here, we have a landmine. This one's pretty cool. It just uses a Travis brick, a couple studs, and then these rounded plates. And then you don't have to add the chain. I just added the chain for effect because in the water, they have really long chains to weigh them down. But it's a pretty simple build. It just has a Travis brick on the inside. As you can see, I attached some studs to space out the plates. But it's a very simple build just to make some little water landmines. My favorite game used to be Minesweeper. Very boring game. So you can overlap them, actually. That way it gives a more rounded appearance. Like so. Now we have this pistol. It also relies on brick arms pieces. It uses one of these U-clips right here to hold the scope on. Other than that, it's pretty much what it looks like. It's just a lightsaber piece with a scope on top. That little hair piece is annoying. Now we have this payload. This is a pretty cool piece. It uses a lot of pieces like this Technic rod. It runs all the way through it to hold these two pieces together and then to hold that on the front. And then on the back here, we have a Travis brick. So you can see that pin right there. We have a Travis brick that holds these little rounded plates on. And then it has like a tile on the back just to make it look smooth. Some of them have plates on the inside, but I ran out of black plates. So I didn't do that for the top. Honestly, it doesn't really matter which variant you go with. It just has to have fins. That way it looks like a payload. So there you go. The thinner kind of looks weirder. But I like the fat ones. So there we go. I know you guys are going to comment about that in the comment section. Here we have another weapon. This is one of my favorite. It uses a butcher knife as the ammo clip. Now, this barrel piece is actually a non-Lego piece, but you can use a regular bar and just put something at the end. But I like to use modified pieces that I find. And this is a brick arms piece. So we have a little twig. You can also use Bart Simpson's little, um, what do you call those, slingshots. But we have a little twig just because it looks better. And then we stick this little butcher knife into this uh, modified brick with the stud on the side. Now, as you can see, we have another one of these studs, and it does have the hole in it. And then we have a minifigure hand up there working as a sight. It's kind of hard to see behind this butcher knife ammo clip, I guess. And then this other hand actually acts as a grip like a handle and it also holds the stock in at the same time so that's pretty cool then you can add this little brick arms bipod if you have one and there we have it now this was one of my more favorite designs i was just disappointed that i had to use modified pieces to make it look better all right we're gonna take a look at this fallout weapon now this is pretty simple i'm not going to break this one down it just uses some one by one plates so as you can see we got one two three four five six seven regular one by one plates and now you can transition them in whatever color you want i just used it like this to make it look like it had labels on there 
and then we have a modified plate here and two modified plates in the front to hold this bar and the stock on. Pretty simple build, but it makes the look of the laser rifle and it looks really nice. This paint roller makes a nice stock, so just wanted to show that off, give you guys a little look at it. Should have brought down a minifigure to hold all these weapons, but I'm trying to get through it fast because we're already 19 minutes in and we got a lot more guns to show off. So let's get on to the next one. We have another Brick Arms Reliant piece over here. It's just two pistols with a U-clip on there. So that's pretty simple. You just gotta buy these little U-clips. They're like 25 cents a piece. But you always see gangsters and other crime syndicates having double pistols, so I thought that was cool. We also have another variant of that, but we actually used machine guns. So as you see, we got like the little minifigure hands on here as clips. These are the Ultra Agents pistols, and then we have a U-clip on the top there. It blends in because it's black, but as you can see, we just have double machine guns, which is way more effective than one machine gun. So that's what that looks like, and then you can also turn them out sideways. So turn them out. Let's go. On to the next one. We have some double pistols that are newer. Here we go. So these are like the uh, Batman pistols, if you ever had those sets. That's what they came in. I haven't seen them in newer sets. I really like these. The Batman sets had the Tommy guns and the pistols like these. So I just attached the U-clip on the front to give it that double gun gangster look. And uh, this one doesn't separate as much as the machine guns does, as you can see. There's not a lot of clearance there. So that's how they go together. Pretty simple. If you have U-clips, you know how they work. Now over here we have an MP40. This is a pretty simple design. We have this new, um, it's like a droid arm thing, but some of them have a clip on the end and some of them don't. So then we just attached one of these new shortened bars into the front acting as the barrel. It's one of the shorter bars. And then we added this minifigure robot hand thing just to work as the clip. And then we use two of them. One acts as the stock and one just adds dimension to the actual gun itself. So it's not supposed to represent anything. It's just supposed to add depth to the gun. So you can get a good look at that. I think that looks really nice. And then you can also rotate the clip sideways if you want it to be like that, kind of MP40. Or on the top, it really doesn't matter. The clip rotates in any direction. I prefer it downwards, but some people prefer it off to the side. All right, now we're going to get on to the next gun. So this one uses the new Overwatch gun style piece, and we have another one of those uh, newer droid hand things. I don't really know what these are called. It accepts a bar connection over there on the inside, and then it clips to a bar on this side. And then we have the Overwatch style gun piece, as you can see there. And then over here, we have this new rounded bar plate piece, and then this little stud with the bar on it, and then a lightsaber. So it's pretty simple. I think it makes a cool sci-fi gun. Sorry for the rush tutorial. I'm just trying to get through it. We're already 23 minutes in. So that's how that goes together. I think it gives off a pretty cool appearance. You use that as the stock. So there you go. On to the next one. We're going to do a sniper rifle now. Now I showed this one off in the first video. It was just pretty complex. So I didn't think you guys wanted to see how this was built. But on the top here, we actually have a black wine glass with a little rounded brick in there. We'll drop that over there. And then over here, we have another rounded brick to act as the stock. This is the old droid blaster. It acts as the handle and the beginning of the stock. And then we have a little modified plate that acts as the sight. And then over here, we have a Technic piece in the front, which acts as the muzzle brake. 
we have a barrel piece. It's one of those ones that accepts these Technic pins. We have another rounded brick over here. And then we have this little Technic like minifigure hand for robots. And then we have this bar piece. I'm sorry if you hear dogs in the background. So we're just gonna put this little round brick on the front. I'm gonna put the little barrel piece on the front that connects to the Technic pins. And put our muzzle brake on the end there. That'll hold everything together really sturdy. And then we get our little sight piece, which is that modified plate. And then we get our droid gun. Well, all Star Wars blasters used to look like that. And then we get our rounded brick again to use as the stock. And then we throw our clip up there. And there we go. We have a pretty cool sniper rifle. On to the next one. We have this one. It's kind of like an older style one. Now this uses the same kind of pieces. We have our droid gun or Star Wars gun with the little rounded piece at the back. Then we have this modified plate with a tile on it to act as the clip. And then we have this little rod piece with the little lightsaber bit at the end. Now up here for the scope, we have two more of those rounded bricks and then a cone piece. Then we have some modified plates up there just to hold it onto the barrel itself. So this is how it goes together like so. boom we have another sniper rifle now this one is supposed to represent like an older style the other one was supposed to be like a modern rifle if you've ever seen the movie sniper you know what i'm talking about now over here we have darth maul's lightsaber this is a pretty cool design now you have to have some specialty pieces to make this or you can just use the regular gray pieces but this piece right here actually came from a robot set back in like 2005 or something like that it was part of a um what do you call those like a little spike piece they're in ninjago sets now they use them as arrows for the arrows so we have two of the chromed out lightsabers and then we have one of those pieces that i cut and it just makes a really nice Darth Maul's lightsaber. Very collectible, very nice looking. We actually have two of those. Now we have one of these mini guns. It's pretty simple to build. You use one of these little Star Wars blasters. You got a modified plate over here. You have another Technic bar tap thing for the drinks. That's what I call those. I always use these for the little drink machines. And then over here we have a Technic beam with the stud on the end. And then we have the little Technic washers. So we got two of the shorter ones and then one of the longer ones on the front. Just to make it look like it has the barrels, the four barrels. I think that gives a very nice appearance. Now if you guys want to see any future guns in the future, just let me know. Drop them down below. Don't comment M16 because I'm about to show you one of those. It's pretty simple. You just take this little uh, Star Wars blaster, you get your Technic pin, you throw that on the front, and then you get your robot hand and you throw it under there and angle it. So that gives you a little like modern looking rifle. So no M16s, no M15s or any of those things. Don't ask for those. That's basically what it will look like in the end. All right, so now we have this minigun. It's pretty much the same as the last one. It just uses one of these pieces. It's like a little washer, but it has the little teeth in it in case you have one of those little T pieces with the teeth in it, which connects onto the end of one of these. It just is T-shaped. 
you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It's from like 1980s. I don't know if you have one of these pieces, but it just gives a very nice effect. So that's another alternative if you don't have the other piece. Like, so, let me see if I can find it. I threw it off to the side, here we go. So if you don't have one of these, you can use one of these. They both look pretty nice. One's more modern, one's older. I think they both give a nice little effect. They both look cool. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next item, which is this Nerf gun. Now this one utilizes another firefighter hose piece, and it also utilizes these little Technic one by two pieces. And then this is like a Technic piece with Technic pieces on both sides. One of my favorite pieces looks like a really cool blaster for ships so you just put this little one by two piece on both ends like so and then you stick your little firefighter hose piece in there and you have another nerf gun i'm a fan of nerf guns so that's why i built some now over here we have this little ak-47 this relies on the star wars blaster now this one uses one of the shorter blaster pieces. So I'll give you guys a closer look. Utilizes one of these. So what you do is you take your little clip piece, stick it on like so, and get your, your little cone piece and you stick it on there. And that creates that little wooden part and then you get your other cone and you stick it on the back for a stock. And there you have it, AK-47. Now you don't have to buy a Brick Arms AK-47, unless you want to, they're more to scale. Over here, we have this shotgun. Now what I did was I attached this modern scope to it. So you get more accuracy when you're hunting. That utilizes one of those uh, U clips from Brick Arms. Pretty simple build. You see how that's attached. Just gives the shooter more accuracy and it looks cool. It's like a sci fi shotgun for the wild, wild west of the Mandalorian series. Over here, we have a double barrel shotgun. This is for pirates. As you can see, it utilizes those U clips again. Not all these designs utilize Brick Arms pieces. I was just trying to get these out of the way because they're faster to show off. So that's how you attach those. Pretty simple, just gives that nice double barrel look. Same goes for this one. Just utilizes double barrel pieces. Use, utilizes the U-clips and it makes it look like a double barrel shotgun. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this one before. This is my custom-made pump-action shotgun. As you can see, ch -ch -ch, you got your little pump action right there. It actually functions, yes. So what we did here was I took one of the newer bar pieces and I shaved it down at an angle at the end. That way, when you put it up against this piece, it fits in perfectly. So I'll give you guys a little demonstration here with the little binoculars that's how I hold it on there so as you can see it doesn't collide with that piece at all and it just gives a very nice pump action look so there you have that that's one of my favorite shotguns I made that one a while ago I don't really modify pieces often but that one seemed like it was worth it very cheap piece anyways now this utilizes a U-clip as well. I just wanted to have a four barrel pistol with a stock. As you can see, we have a droid arm and I use this for Mandalorians. So they hold on to the back over here and it looks like they have a nice little four barrel blaster, kind of like Boba Fett style, but it's got quad barrels. And that just uses a U-clip as well. Now we're gonna try to show off some weapons that don't use brick arms pieces like this one now this one is pretty simple it just uses the firefighter hose it uses two lightsaber pieces one on each end and then you have a cone and a red stud and that makes up the rocket launcher now if you need a rocket for this you can get a little um flick fire missile and then another cone and red stud 
and that's what you would essentially reload into this rocket. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, there's another look at that. Now over here, this one I actually glued together, so I can't show you guys how I put it together, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just take two of these um, little binocular pieces, and then one of these little robot hands, and then you get your pistol from Johnny Thunder, because this one doesn't have the sight on it. Johnny Thunder didn't used to have the front sight. So that gives a really nice looking double barrel shotgun, like kind of similar to um, not The Walking Dead, but that Zombieland movie, if you've ever seen that. Kind of looks like similar kind of style. Now over here, we have a Star Wars blaster, and I thought this looked kind of cool. So what I basically did was I just took a little Technic track link and I just slid it over there. I think it gives a really nice appearance. I feel like I've seen this in a set before, but they use the silver one. I'm not sure, because I know these uh, blasters aren't in sets anymore. So I just thought that gave a really nice appearance. It's kind of like a shield or something. So maybe it holds extra ammo. Here's another one of these. It was just in the pile, thought I'd show it off. So this one I actually built so that you could put the little smoke pieces on the front and stack them. They look like little ice cream pieces if you know what I'm talking about. You can stack them and then on the end I would connect this little missile. But I don't have any of the smoke pieces at the moment because I gave them to somebody. So this utilizes a rounded 1x2 plate, a rounded brick and a stud shooter, and then another rounded brick. So pretty simple, and it helps you use up those pesky little stud shooters that nobody seems to have a use for, and it gives a really nice rocket launcher use. And like I said, when you have those smokestacks, you can actually physically show it shooting the missile. I just traded all mine, so I don't have any more. But if you wanna go for a more simplistic version, you can get this little modified plate here with the clip on it and then you can get this rounded modified plate with the bar piece on it and then attach this little um black lightsaber piece to that plate and then all you need are some studs i used one stud just to give it a little extra length and then you can use these little rounded bricks so it's a pretty simplistic build has a similar style to all of our other rocket launchers. Let me collect these pieces that are rolling away. So it's just a stud, a modified plate, a lightsaber piece, and then you just add your rounded bricks, your handle, and then you add two more of these rounded bricks to make up the rest of the barrel and that's pretty simple it gives a nice little appearance you got a sight and that's it now we have another version of that and it just utilizes one of these technic pieces i think they're found in um speed racer i'm not really sure where i got these but they are pretty cool i think maybe ultra agents and they came with flick fire missiles maybe even Star Wars, and you just attach your rounded bricks like so. You attach two rounded bricks together, and it's a pretty simple build. And then you have a nice sight. All right, and then this one is an Overwatch style gun. I'm sure this is how they built it in the set. You just basically get one of these little Technic attachment pieces and throw it on the front there. And then you get some rounded studs and you just attach them to the sides like so. Pretty simplistic, but it breaks a lot. It's kind of annoying, but it looks cool. Looks like another Nerf gun, just not orange or yellow. We have another style of what I call Nerf guns because they're nerfed. And you have a little light piece in white on the bottom being held on by one of these studs with the holes in it. As you can see, I use that to hold on the front piece as well. So that's just right there as well. We have two of those on there. And then we use this new candle piece from Harry Potter to act as the extended barrel. 
and I think that gives it a really nice look for a Nerf gun or for a water Nerf gun or anything of that sort. It just looks like a very nice sci-fi gun. And then over here, you have your clip or just a little stud just to make it look a little bit more refined. And then we have a shorter version of that with this little Technic piece. I know that's my favorite word, little Technic piece. So you got your little stud with the hole in it, and then you have that light in white, and then you have another tile stud right there. So that just gives off like a bubble gun look or a water gun look. Now over here is one of my favorites. I've been saving the best for last. So we have a black binocular piece on the front here. We have a minifigure hand on this little bottom rail. I'll break it down for you guys. So we got a little robot hand up there. We have a minifigure hand over here. And then we have another minifigure hand. So this is the base of the entire weapon. It's like a little old school firefighter hose piece. And then you want to take this minifigure hand and it acts as a sight and it also holds stuff together. And then you're going to get this minifigure hand that acts as the clip. You're going to slide that on like so. Then you get your little um, binocular piece right there. You slide it on. Got your tech, your Technic piece, Technic hand, and you insert it like so. And now you have the gun from Alien. Now, as you can see, the hand up there makes up the sight, and it also holds this hand in place. Just gives a nice, really look all together. There you go. So that's your gun from Alien, if you guys have seen that movie. Some of you might be too young for that. Now over here we have another shotgun. It just uses the U-clip from Brick Arms and a lightsaber to give that scope. Now this is supposed to be based off the most dangerous game. If you've read that book, you know what I mean. Anyways, on to the next gun. We have this. It's not actually a gun. It's actually two chainsaws attached together with the U-clips and you can essentially attach it onto the barrel of any weapon. So let me just grab this gun since it's closest. And there you go. You have a manslaughtering zombie gun. You got extra sight and you got some melee weapons on the front. So I thought that was a cool look and you can never have enough chainsaws. So have two chainsaws on there looks pretty cool reminds me of left for dead now here's another rocket payload it just utilizes these little studs with the hole in the bottom and you connect those to a lightsaber piece and then i use the hose bit without the hose in it now last but not least this is my favorite weapon i wish i had a figure to display it on this is a flamethrower now it uses a lot uh, utilizes this backpack piece from space theme like the classic space and then we have this whip piece this is from um, Ghostbusters and then like I said from earlier we have that hose piece without the hose in it I just ripped it out of there and then we have another stud with the hole in it and then over here we have that little tap piece for the drink machines and then we have a lightsaber and a monopod so it's pretty simple very minimal on parts, but it just gives an all-over nice design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see some other pretty lame weapons, I have some more over here off to the right. These ones are just kind of like bloopers that I didn't want to include in the video. So it's basically just a stud shooter, a shark tooth with a stud on the end, and a lightsaber on the other side kind of reminds me of covenant weapons and then same for this one similar style it just uses one of these little um, bar tap pieces and then one of the more simpler weapons i didn't feel like including in this video was just a little sniper rifle with the uh lightsaber piece on the front and i had a brick arms bipod for it but i lost it so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed 
We showed off a ton of weapons. And if you want to see a breakdown on some of the other weapons, I have another weapons tutorial. It's probably a couple years old, but it's got over 50,000 views. So you guys can check that out if you want to see any more weapon designs. Probably won't be making another tutorial for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in another video. Check out some of my other videos. I have over 200 mocks here on YouTube. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in another video. Peace out, guys.